Hi guys, welcome to Byte's Friendsgiving Feast. Now, come on, let's be honest, the holiday means always having some delicious leftovers in the fridge. So, today, I'm gonna show you how to master the perfect leftover Friendsgiving breakfast sandwich. You watched Alex, Zoya, Tini, and Claudia whip up some amazing Friendsgiving dishes, and now I've got the leftovers. Honestly, I can't wait to dig in and put my own personal twist on those amazing dishes, turning them into the ultimate leftover dish. Thanksgiving for me is one of those unique times of the year where the whole family come together. But from a chef's point of view, it's a dream come true because I delegate all the sides. Obviously, I take care of the turkey, but more importantly, the laughter, the fun, and the conversations across that table is all related to food. Right, now for the most exciting part, okay? Oh my lord. Hear that crunch? Mm. Wow. That is savory, sweet, and absolutely delicious. Beautiful rolls. Honestly, teeny girl, I taught you well. A little dunk, that's what it's all about. Oh my god. The green bean casseroles. Look at those things. Dainty. Mmm, come on. Elegant, flaky, and absolutely delicious. The mole turkey Claudia has created. Oh my God, amazing. And absolutely to die for. Mash, in, little dunk of gravy. Look at that, like the perfect lollipop. Mm. Amazing. Man, I'm like a pig in Great tasting. Let's get cooking. So I've got some leftover turkey. I've got some green beans, some bacon, mole, and a little bit of mayonnaise. First off, let's start building the flavors, okay? I want the bacon nice and crispy. This is beautiful, lightly smoked bacon, and let's get that nice and crispy. Let's start off with four nice rashes of bacon. That's literally two slices per sandwich. I never like to put salt on my bacon because it's already naturally salty, so just a little touch of pepper in there. Now, get that bacon nice and crispy. Really important, okay? Because we're gonna spy off the green beans, Alex and Zoya's green beans, in the bacon fat. Over here, we've got some mayonnaise. Gonna lightly season it. And this is a little nod to Claudia. I've got her beautiful mole sauce. Two thirds mayonnaise, one third mole. Give that a little mix. And mole inside the mayonnaise just takes that up into a completely different level. I want a nice, fresh, exciting breakfast sandwich. Take some lemon and get the zest and literally zest that lemon through there. After that, take your little wedge and let's get some fresh lemon juice in there. So good. Now, for the bacon. Get that really nice and crispy, okay? Let that render down. Take that out. Now, get your buns, okay? Slice them in half. And these buns from Teeny. Fry them off in that bacon fat. This is the morning after. Now, these buns are delicious, but when you fry them in that bacon fat, again, it just goes up into a different level. A little bit of color of that. That's exactly what you want. There's my top, and there's my base. Now, using the pan, again, a little bit of fresh olive oil in there. And we get my turkey in there. And this is just leftover turkey breast. Now, I don't want the turkey to go dry, so a little bit of butter in there. Just a touch, and then. And because of the butter and the bacon fat, this turkey is gonna be delicious. Look at that. Just turn it round. And this is all from Claudia. And you'll see the connection again with that beautiful mole mayonnaise. Lightly seasoned, out. And then from there, onto your tray. Now, for my green beans. Not the kind of thing you see traditionally inside a breakfast sandwich, but I promise you, it's gonna go up a level. Fried green beans, a little bit of color. Also, I like the texture of this as well. So it gives a really nice little crunch. Salt, pepper, and the smell from these beans are incredible. 
Look, fried green beans. Literally, just before they come out of the pan, hit them with that beautiful crispy shallot. More shallots. Gordon, what are you doing here? And then, Tini's beautiful butter. Delicious herb butter. And that just elevates the green bean. And the smell is beautiful. Out she goes. And then finally, let's fill up the pan again with that butter. And now, we're gonna finish with our eggs, okay? I like to put a little touch of olive oil in with that butter. That stops the butter from burning. And then the eggs, you tap them on a flat surface so as not to break the yolk. And in she goes. One, two. Now, I want them blistering, okay? So keep that heat up. Back on. Lightly season those eggs. Salt, pepper. Once the eggs are done, roll them around. Touch more butter in there. And then literally, just get your spoon and just go over those eggs. And that stops all that raw egg white getting into your sandwich. We want them cooked and blistering. Once they're done, turn off the heat and just let them sit there for about 60 seconds. Now, the build-up. The bit that every chef loves. There's my base. They're nice and crunchy, really nicely toasted. My tops are there. First off, lather those milk buns with your beautiful, fragrant mayonnaise. Next, my crispy shallots. I told you about the texture. It'd be beautiful, really beautiful. That's a lovely crunch at the base of this. And then from there, let's start building these up. My turkey goes on. And be smart with the turkey. Make this sandwich a generous sandwich. So many leftovers. Again, a little touch of the sauce. Get your crispy bacon and give that a little chop up just to break it up. Sit that on top. Generous on the bacon, right? And then again, sauce, just a touch on top. Oh my goodness me, Teeny, Alex and Zoya, Claudia, honestly, thank you. Texture, green beans with those beautiful fried crispy shallots. And now, for the most exciting part, the beautiful eggs. Out, on, drain. Sit that on, and finally, man, these crispy shallots, I'm telling you. Look at that. Ay, 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 ay. And then just take a smidging of that mole mayonnaise at the top of the bun. Oh my goodness me. Honestly, on she goes. And you can see that yolk just oozing out. And that is the perfect leftover breakfast sandwich to die for. Turkey, green beans, bacon, eggs, and that amazing mole mayonnaise. Thank you, Claudia, Alex, Sawyer, and Tini. May I have more leftovers next time, please? Please check out all of the Bites Friendsgiving Feast episodes. You can find Bites Friendsgiving Feast and so many other delicious shows and recipes on Bites. Please subscribe and join in on all the delicious fun. I promise you, you're going to love it.